Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been away, I've been a little bit MIA. I had some rough patches in my life. My dog passed away. That was super hard. Honestly, I cried for like every day for a month. I didn't realize how hard that would seriously be, but it was hard. And then my work just got very overwhelming. There's a lot of things happening. I needed a lot of time to focus on that. So here I am. One thing missing in my life was creating content. I wasn't super happy inside, so I'm back here to create some content and we're kicking off my comeback with a favorites video. I love favorites. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Courtney and for my favorites videos, all I do is talk about my favorite products that I've been using throughout the last few months and that's going to be the video. So if you're interested to see, please keep watching. Okay, so first up we have the Nooks. This is the Nooks Very Rose Light Cleansing Foam Rose Floral Water and Skin Respect Complex. Okay, when I, so first of all, let me backtrack. Don't love a cleansing foam normally because I do find they're very watery and I feel like nothing is happening. So when I saw that it was a foam, I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna try it. Then the rose thing, rose is not my favorite smell, Sometimes I find it very overwhelming, so I was a little bit like, mm, but you know what? I opened it up. I'm trying new things in my life, and let me tell you, this is the most beautiful cleansing foam I have probably have ever tried in my entire life. It's great for all skin types, especially sensitive skin. You can rub it on your eyes. It doesn't burn. The smell is very, very, it is a rose smell. You have to like roses, and the mousse itself, you can tell how luxurious it is. It's not watery, and when you rub it in your skin, it really is. It really is. Like, it just feels like a really nice cleanser. Takes off your makeup, makes your face feel super hydrated. I'm also noticing on the back it says, I think I'm pretty sure it says do not use on your eyes. I do use it on my eyes, but maybe you should follow the instructions because again, I'm not the dermatologist, but if you love a really nice cleansing foam, if you love roses, and if you love things that are made in France because that's super fancy, try this cleansing foam out. You will not regret it, I promise you. All right, so we have to talk about this. So if you are new to my channel, I have a special wash that I like to use in my fancy areas, my fancy parts. So they discontinued. They discontinued that wash. I've used all my backup stock, so I bought this. This is the new equivalent to what I was using before. Same brand. So this is called now the Dexion uh, Ducre ultra rich cleansing gel face and body first of all why I love it is because it's so free so you know you can use it anywhere and it's not gonna irritate I also love how it doesn't say Vagisil and now they actually have a little pump which I kind of like better because the last one you had to pour out and sometimes you just pour way too much so with the little push I really do like this you can use this all over the body it's even great for babies as well um, so if you're looking for a great wash that's soap free allergy friendly and that doesn't say Vagisil, also pH balanced as well, my friends. This is where it's at. Add it to your cart at Shoppers Drug Mart and no one's gonna look at you while cashing out. Weird, because you have a product that's for your vagina. All right, next up, we gotta talk about this. I love this. This is the Avon A New Vitamin C Illuminating Body Serum. This also contains vitamin C and E, also has soothing sunflower seed oil and panthenol to help um, retain skin's essential moisture. The hydrating formula leaves your body feeling smooth and looking luminous. Now, what I love about this is this serum is beyond lightweight. Like, it almost feels like you have a little bit of like a water on your skin, but the great part about it is this. So it pumps out, it's a little bit orange, you can tell it's very fluid-like because it is a serum. Don't mind my keratosis pilaris. Kind of, It honestly kind of smells like a grapefruit. But yes, it just makes your skin, I don't really know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it just looks so luminous, so hydrated, and feels very nice. So if you're looking for a body illuminizer with nice moisturizing benefits, this is where it's at. Okay, so next up we have the Benefit Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. I'm almost finished. I'm going to have to pick up a new one. Love this stuff. Um, the mist on this, excellent. The smell, even better. With this, the, f the mist is so fine that you don't get any of those splatter marks. That is the worst. When you do your foundation, you put your powder on, you're looking like a million dollars, and then, and then you get those little marks and you can't get them off your face. I love the way it goes on. I love the way my makeup looks after I apply it. It's a great setting spray, very long lasting, helps your makeup stay in place all day. I highly, highly recommend this. Back in the day, I always used to rave about the Neo Strata Microdermabrasion, but they kind of reformulated it, which is fine. But this is equivalent to what the original Neo Strata Microdermabrasion was. So here, this is the philosophy. It's called the Micro Delivery Resurfacing Peel. I love it. So basically, you use this side here first, and this is like little crystals, and you work them in your face. Also smells very lovely, almost like 
has a little bit of like an orange smell to it. You really rub it into the face and then you put step two, which is the activator on and you rub it in together. Your skin feels so soft like a baby's bottom. It gets rid of any texture kind of problems you're having. It gets rid of any clogged pores. It doesn't burn. It's not overly harsh. I just freaking love this. So if you're looking for a really nice um, micro resurfacing kind of product, <clears throat> You will not be sorry about this, I promise you. And because it's so good and so strong, you really honestly, I would say even using this once every two weeks or once every week, depending on what your skin needs, I honestly only use it, I don't use it that much. I use it probably once every two weeks when I really feel like there's a lot of buildup on my skin. And then I bust this out, but this is a beautiful, beautiful product. Okay, so next up I have this. This is the Micro Delivery Dream Peel by Philosophy. This is great if you're also looking for a resurfacing product but you don't want that grittiness. This is a gel. So this has 6% AHA. So what you do is you kind of flip it over, twist it, and then you squeeze it. And it comes out actually as a red gel. You apply it all over the face. I, do, I would not take it up underneath the eye because again, it's going to exfoliate. Skin here is very sensitive. It's very thin. So you don't want to exfoliate underneath your eye. So leave it um, put it everywhere but underneath your eye, obviously. Uh, you wear this overnight. So if you do it three nights in a row, they say it gives you your best um, glow. It really resurfaces the skin. I usually do try to use it three times in a row. I love it. It does at first when you put it on. It does feel a little bit burny. has a little bit of a tingle. At first, I, when I started using this, I'm like, is this, is this normal? Am I having a reaction? But I didn't. It just really is working, getting rid of all the dead skin cells. Your face will feel a little bit hot, a little bit tingly, but this is great. So if you don't really like using those kind of crystals, like the last product I talked about, try this. It's awesome. You use it three nights in a row. It gives you the best results for a brighter, younger, more radiant skin. Okay, lately I've been loving these two mascaras. I've been wearing them all the time. So this one's the Avon Love at First Lash Mascara uh, Waterproof Formula. It is so good. So they sent this to me a long time ago. To be honest with you, I never really wore it. Um, but I started wearing it again because it's summertime when I go swimming. You know, I want to have something that's not going to leak all down my face. I love this mascara. It is super waterproof. You need a really good waterproof makeup remover to get this off. I really like the shape of the brush. It's kind of unique. It has a fatter... Um, fatter base to it and tapers in more, but it's really great at just getting up underneath your lashes, coating them really well. It doesn't get clumpy. It just really lengthens. It separates. It gives them a nice curl. And again, super waterproof. So I've been really enjoying this. It's a great mascara. Also loving this as well. This is not waterproof. So I wear this on the days where I'm not going to be outside. This is the superhero uh, mascara by It Cosmetics. Again, such a great formula. You honestly, I find though, I do find a lot comes out on the brush, so I kind of just give it one of these before I put it on my eye. The brush is a standard brush. It is not rubber. It's a regular bristled brush, and it's very tapered, um, but I find two coats of this mascara, you look like you have fake eyelashes on. It's just perfect. It really lengthens. It separates. This one could get a little bit more clumpy, I would say, if you keep building, but this one gives you crazy big awesome lashes. Another thing I like about this as well, it doesn't flake throughout the day. So it stays on, no flaking. It's just beautiful. Just these two are awesome. All right, so let's talk about the most bougiest blush that I probably own. This is the Chanel blush, mm -hmm. and I keep it in its velvet packaging. You want to know why? Because this, my friends, is luxury. It's called the 440 Quintessence, I think that's how you pronounce it, powdered blush. Oh my. So when you open it, it just looks like this. It's a baked blush. And to be honest with you, do I use this? No. Listen, if you're going to travel with this in your purse, sure, this will come in handy. I have this color on today. It's the perfect kind of pink flush. But what makes this blush special? Now, I know sometimes you feel like you're just paying for the name when you buy high-end products. I can agree with you on that for about 50% of the products that you buy that are very high-end. But this blush is immaculate. The way it's baked, when you put your brush into it, there's no bounce back. There's no like weird crumbly stuff. So you're not losing product. It is baked so perfectly that when you put your brush in it, there's no fallout. Also, it is so pigmented. It's not like a sheer wash of color. This will give you full pigment onto your face. You're getting your money's worth with this blush, I'm telling you. And it's the most perfect little flush of color for me. It's such a nice pink. I absolutely love it and it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. So again, when you're having a Treat Yourself Friday, have a look at these guys because they're really, really nice. My go-to lip combo, honestly, for the last like two months has been these two guys. So this was new for me. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, but this is not Pillow Talk. This is the one that's called Iconic Nude. So beautiful. I have it on today. I kind of did the outline of my lips. It's the most beautiful brown. It's not too chocolate. 
has a little bit of a pink undertone to it. It's just really nice. And then when you kind of just blend it, it just, it just really enhances your lip shape. Gives you more full, plump lips without being too dark. Um, so I really love this. And the formulation of these pencils from Charlotte Tilbury, they're great. They glide on, they stay on, really beautiful. And then I've been topping it off with this. And I have talked about this, I think, in like a favorites video, maybe in March or February. But this is the Buxom Lip, um, like the Lip Plumping Cream in the shade Dolly. I love it. I have it on right now. First of all, the color I absolutely love. In the tube, it doesn't look very attractive, but on your lip, it's just like this perfect kind of nude, but not too nude with a little bit of pink. And the way these make my lips feel, that minty, tingly beautifulness, it's not that burny, it's just fresh. It just feels fresh. So these two have been my perfect lip combo throughout the last couple months, and I love them. And you don't get any of that weird like, you don't get that weird, glossy, weird, white, crusty thing happening. You don't get that with this. It's just a really beautiful lip plumber. Okay, so I've tried lots of face sunscreens. A lot of them break me out. A lot of them make my face itchy. There's something in them. Even the ones for sensitive skin, I've tried a lot of things. And nothing has been as good as this. So everyone raves about this. I thought, let me try it. Let me buy it. It's a Super Goop Glow Screen in SPF 40. This is so nice. It does not break me out and it just makes your skin look like a luminous J-Lo dream. Now, when you take it out on your hand, let me show you. It kind of comes out as this like nude sunscreen. Rubs in really easily, but why I love this so much, it gives your face the most beautiful glow. So if you don't like wearing makeup at all, this, you would absolutely love this if you have more of like a drier skin. If you don't like to look dewy, you're gonna hate this. So if you like to look dewy, have more of a drier kind of skin type, don't like to wear a lot of foundation, this, my friends, will just make your skin look like paradise. It will just be beautiful for you. Um, I don't burn with it. I wear it when I sit outside all day long. I have to reapply it, I would say, twice in the span that I'm outside. But again, my face doesn't burn, protects me completely from the sun, and my skin just looks like J-Lo every single time I put this on. I will repurchase this 100%, it is that good. I also have two lip products that I've been really enjoying. Both of them are actually sleeping masks. One's from Avon, it's called the A New Vitamin C Lip Mask. I actually leave this one downstairs in my TV room and I just kind of put it on throughout the day. It's a very kind of thick gloss, has a little bit of a pink tinge to it, but this makes your lips hydrated all day long. I absolutely love it. Has a nice orange smell as well, really nice. And then at nighttime, I've been using this. This is the Milk Makeup uh, Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. Also really love this as well. Um, has more of like a medicinal kind of smell. The reason why I bought this, I really love the Laneige Slip Mask, but the, the, have you looked at the ingredients on that? The ingredient list is this long and it freaked me out because it's not a clean makeup product. And the more I buy products for myself, a lot of stuff gets sent to me, I do try it, but if I'm gonna make the purchase myself with my own money, I've been trying to be more conscious of what I am buying. So with the Laneige, the ingredient list is this long, half the stuff I don't even know how to pronounce, and then I'm like, I'm definitely ingesting that throughout the night. Probably not a good thing. So this one is recognized as a clean makeup product. I do think the Laneige might be a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more slippery, a little bit more fun. Um, but this is definitely on the greener side and it's better for you, especially when it's going on your mouth. Okay, so my day cream that I've been using for like the last month and a half has been the Philosophy Purity Oil Free. Um, really love this. You get 141 mil. Again, this is just a very lightweight hydrating uh, moisturizer. It's not anti-aging, but I love it because it just goes on like a dream. It does not break me out. It's oil free. It's great for summertime because it's more of like a gel texture rather than like a heavy lotion. And again, for the money, 141 mil. Most face creams are about 50 mil. So it's a great bang for your buck. The smell on this is very, again, very like, not medicinal, but very, yeah, kind of like you know, very natural, very clean. That's what the kind of the smell feels like, but it just feels amazing on your skin. Very hydrating, almost has a cooling sensation as well. So I really have been enjoying this. And then and for my night cream, I've been using the Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar. Love this as well. It's almost done actually. This one is kind of similar to this guy. Has more of a pleasant smell rather than like a, an earthy smell. Um, but the cream's a little bit thicker, tiny bit thicker than the gel as well. But this doesn't break me out. Super hydrating. Um, I really love this. It's great for refreshing and refining. So, yes, yes. And again, I don't love moisturizers that are in a jar because you have to stick my fingers in it. But again, this is a very good moisturizer. Both of these, day and night, love. Then I have been using some serums as well for the last couple of months. So this is my staple. I love it. I use it every single morning. Lancome Genifique Serum. Honestly, you can't get, I just, you can't get much better than this. I feel like this is just, 
the most beautiful serum. So lightweight, so hydrating, so anti-aging. It's just a miracle in a jar, you know? And I really like the dropper, so when you pull it out, it actually just picks up the perfect amount. You don't even have to do anything. It picks up the perfect amount, and then you just put it into the palm of your hand and call it a night. So, really love the way of, I love everything about this. I really do. This is probably my one of my favorite serums in the whole world, for sure. Okay, and then at night, I've been using these two different serums, just depending on what my skin feels like it needs. So, this one's really great from Honest Beauty. It's the Calm and Perfect Serum. Very, very hydrating, a little bit spreads out a long way. Very soothing, great for sensitive skin, just very calming. So, if my skin needs that, if I feel like it's irritated, or if I know I'm going to be using a super anti-aging ingredient, um over top of this, I know I'll just go in with something that doesn't have a lot of anti-aging ingredients, just more of like a soothing, hydrating kind of serum. And then this guy right here is absolutely amazing. This is the Nooks Super Serum, uh, the universal age-defying concentrate. Like, can we just have a look at this? It is just glamour in a bottle. This is anti-aging to its finest. It's natural. It's made in France. It's just super hydrating. I really love it. It does not break me out. It has these little oil kind of hydrating beads built into it. It's just magnificent. And the smell is just beautiful as well. So nice. All right, so over a month ago, I wanted a new bronzer. I was running a little bit low, wanted to try something new. This is not new to me, but I haven't used this in years, and it just kind of caught my eye on the website. This is the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. Love this. It's so beautiful. It has a nice warmth to it. It's mineral. It buffs into the skin so beautifully. The only thing I would say a downfall is it has a lot of kickback when you put your brush in it, because I think it's because of the way it's baked and the way it's a mineralized finish. But... The product just gives you the most beautiful glow, seamless to blend out. If you're looking for bronzer that's very easy to use, you know, doesn't leave streaks, you will really love this. Check it out. It is beautiful. And last but not least, let's talk about the Chanel number 65 Hyper Black Long Wear Intense Cream Eyeliner. I love this. So if you love the Maybelline pot, the gel pot, this is very similar, but it's Chanel. Um, it's so beautiful. It comes with a little brush that is actually excellent. Sometimes when they give you brushes with products like this, they're not user friendly, but that brush that they give you is so beautiful. It's kind of like a small little brush. You can put it in your purse, has a cap on it. But this just creates the most beautiful eyeliner. You can wing it out, pull it back in. It lasts all day. It's super black, easy to use, and will last a very long time because you get four grams of product. Okay, so this is the end of my monthly favorites. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, as always, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.